welcome. Uh, thank you for choosing our session. We know there are other quite interesting sessions, but you have to our so thank you so much. Uh, first of all, let us introduce ourselves. Uh, I am Pedro Guerrero, this is my Twitter panda. Uh, I work in Financial Force uh, as a support engineer since three years ago. Uh, well, thank you everybody, uh, hi. Uh, so, I want to say thank you to the, to the organizers of this event, you work guys. Uh, well, my name is Pedro Molina, uh, you can find me in Twitter and also in my blog where I talk about Salesforce and I'm actually working with Hero at Financial Force. Uh, well, actually in, in the same team. So, okay, uh, we hope you are aware about the never-ending Spanish discussion, okay? <laughs> we cannot decide if the Spanish on the net must be with or without money. So, we want you to participate in, in the quotation today that we will see at the end in the demo. And we want you to use, to use any of those hashtags for the for tweet, also the your phone, we hope you, you have a Twitter account. Uh, and well, use those, those hashtags for, for voting, alright? So, so, as we said, we work in Financial Fork, which is the number one ERP cloud on Salesforce. Uh, we are almost 700 people across the world. We have seven offices. Uh, the main offices are in San Francisco, in Harrogate in the UK, and in Granada in Spain. That is where Pedro and myself are, are based. So. Okay, well, this is, well, this is our agenda for today. So, today we're going to talk about uh, what is platform events, the benefits of an um, event driven architecture, what else is in platform events. Uh, how to get subscribed and how to pull these events with and without code and also from inside and from outside circles. At the end, we'll see the demo with the quotation. Okay, so going to our first question, our first point, <coughs> what is the prevents? Well, actually, before to answer this question, I would let you introduce you to tell you a bit of history. So, please, let me introduce you to the Adapus. This is one of the. 20 minutes, please. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, we're running in the middle. Okay, I'm sorry, let's keep this. Maybe this will help the kind of 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 the and we go to our, our question, what is platform events? What well, platform events is the Salesforce enter Enterprise messaging platform. It uses event-driven architecture and it can drive communication inside and outside, and outside Salesforce. But what Salesforce has created basically is a new S object with some peculiarities and uh, new features. For example, when you will watch your setup and create your new, a new event, you will notice that it is ending in underscore underscore e instead of underscore underscore c. Uh, not all field types will be supported for the new for the events. It has not a standard user interface. Of course, you can create your own user interface. Uh, sorry, user interface using uh, visual force or, or lining. Uh, events are not very good. It has something new. with the reply ID. This is actually used for the for the controlling of the correct communication between subscribers and pulser, and also you can get subscribed to this. Uh, and in case you want to have a look to the uh, to do events from the debug lab, you can uh, well you will have to do it uh, by setting up the deploy to the to the automated process user instead of to your user. Uh, I would like also to say that platform events decouple the couples, all right? What does it mean? Well, it's just that the publisher and the subscriber doesn't need to know each other. And finally, uh, you can run platform events with and without code. So you can run it with, with Apex, with all the builders, but also with Visa Flow. But with the Visa Flow, uh, actually, you cannot get subscribed to, to platform events, just to publish. Well, as said before, the, it has not a user interface, but well, in the setup, it has it, alright? So, what you can see in here, this is quite similar to the to a standard S-object S uh, interface in the setup, but it has a new one in there. Uh, you can see what, you can, well, what you can see in there is, um, sorry, how many subscribers you have to this event, and also the status of your replay team. 
the event driven architecture. I would like to introduce you uh, about what it is. But before uh, to speak what is the event driven architecture, I would like you to explain what is not. And this is what is not. I think you are all uh, familiar with this. It's uh, a point to point or peer to peer communication between servers, every one application, but every single one application has to be communicated with all of them. So it's a little, uh, a little messy, quite messy. And this is what is the, the, the event driven architecture. Uh, as you see, um, it's quite simpler. We have the producer, the event bus, and the subscriber that has subscribed to the, the, the event. And I would like to talk to you about the benefits of the event driven architecture. The first one is the, the push model. What is the push model? It's uh, an architecture where the publisher and the subscriber are completely, completely decoupled. They don't know each other, and the most important thing is that they don't mind to, to, to don't know each other. Why is this? Because if I am a publisher, I will publish a message, an, an event, sorry, and I don't mind if there is a listener or 100 listeners. I will publish, and that's all. And on the other hand, if I am a, a subscriber, I will be listening, uh, listening an event, and I don't mind who is the, the, the publisher. Next uh, benefits, the real identification, we already have it. Uh, the, at the same time that the publisher publishes the, the, the event, the subscriber will have all the information that, that comes with, with that event and customize the info. Obviously, uh, if I'm a publisher, I will publish only the information that I want to publish. But the subscriber will be subscribed only to the event that uh, he really wants to have. For that reason, is is <coughs> and simplified. Um, I think you remember the, pre uh, the previous picture. So it's quite simpler than, than the, the model that we used to have. Uh, the subscribe and the activate. Uh, I would like to say uh, to explain with an example. Imagine that you uh, don't need information for one day for your subscribe to an event, but you don't need that information for one day, one week, a month, you can deactivate the, the subscription and activate it when you need that information again. And in the, in the same way, you can subscribe because you are really sure that you will not need that information anymore. And everything was fine. One to end. Um, well, as I said, uh, a publisher will publish the, the, the event and uh, he or she doesn't know if uh, there are one or many subscribers. But if you are a subscriber and have a subscription, the subscription can only be listening to one, uh, one event only. And this is one of my favorite. The uh, application could be on a platform. What does this mean? That the publisher could be publishing on-site or outside site for, and the uh, subscriber could be uh, listening on-site or outside site for. So uh, it's really good. And the reply ID. The reply ID is uh, an identify, uh, as here says, it's an identify to recover. Let's ask, uh, explain with an group. Yeah, please tell me. Alright, so imagine those balls are, uh, are events. Uh, also, well, uh, it has, uh, it, <coughs> each event has, has its own reply ID. So we have the red reply ID, green, the millennial reply ID, and the tennis. Okay, so I will be in, I will be playing cell phones. Um, I will be publishing events, all right. So here is my friend. Can I subscribe? Please subscribe. Yeah. So let's start to publish events. I'm sorry. So the first event. Okay. Then second event. Okay, things goes fine so far. But now something happens. For example, the network is down. But I don't mind because we are the couple. So I keep sending events. All right. Keep working. All right, so for me everything is fine. Let's send the last event. So right now the series is complete, but I know if I compare it, I know I'm missing something. I miss one ball. So I uh, send a request with the last message I know is is good. So I send it to him. Okay. So I'm getting an old team uh, replay ID. So my friend may be missing some information. Let's say. <coughs> Sorry, every single uh, uh, event he is missing. So, let's this one. On the last one. And right now, not right now, but almost. <laughs> I have the complete series in order. 
so I have all the all the events, and I know that I have not missed any information. So, uh, what else in platform events? As you are seeing, uh, the platform events are really a powerful tool and has other uh, tools uh, around it. And we have chose, uh, chosen two of them, uh, like them some, uh, as an example. Both of them are pilots, but not already in here, but uh, we hope they will be soon. The first one is the change data capture that allowed you to reply um, all the data that you have in the database in a database of child Salesforce with all the changes that uh, we have in our org and the high volume platform events that allow you not to uh, send an event or 10 events but send events uh, million by million. Okay, so subscribing and publishing with a code and also inside and follow side Salesforce. Okay, so let's start for the subscribing from side Salesforce and using logs or using Apex. <laughs> Uh, well, for this training, what you need to do is uh, create a, a trigger, you can see in there, the trigger will be of the type of the event, and uh, the event of the trigger will be an after insert. If you use uh, before date uh, or any other thing, it won't work. Then you can to have just to do whatever you want to do with the information you are getting in the event, all right? And for the pool scene, well, what you need to do is instance an object type of the event and fill the fields with the, the information and with this single line of code, okay, code, all right, you will be pulling the event. Uh, without code, oh, so we have picked uh, process builder just because of we mentioned, we mentioned before uh, with uh, this flow you are not able to uh, get subscribed to the to the event. So with the pro process builder, what you need to do for the publishing is select in report type an event and then fill the fields. And for the subscribing, well, it's even easier because in the first step when you will be creating your process builder, all you need is to choose in there in this drop down menu uh, on a platform event. Okay, but okay, uh, what about from outside Salesforce? What? Of course, we don't need uh, Salesforce. And just because in our demo we're using, or we're running a Java web application inside Heroku, we are I mean, here at Heroku, right? So for Salesforce, it's quite easy to, to pull this and to subscribe to, to, to the events because it's the platform, okay? But for the application we built, we need a bit of help from uh, Comity. Comity is, a, is an AJAX uh, library for the implementation of a Biox protocol. This will, will be helping us with the continuous listening to the, to the events from Salesforce. And in order to pull these events, what, you, what we are using is, well, or what you will need is any library that allows you to, to use the REST API, the SOAP API, or the API. Okay, I don't want to dig in, the, in this code because this is Java, this is no Salesforce stuff, but I uh, just wanted to show you that just with the importance of a couple of libraries, you will be able to send and to recite uh, events. Okay, and over demo. Well, before to show you the demo, I want to explain how does it work. As we said before, uh, we are going to use an application to uh, read information from Twitter. So, then our application will be pulling uh, those hashtags from, uh, from Twitter, and then using platform events, it will be pushing those events and so in, <coughs> into a given bus, and, and Salesforce will be listening to those events with a uh, Twitter. Subscriber. Okay? So, the big, big moment is now. We hope you have been voting instead of listening to us. <laughs> Let's see if you have picked any or not. So, this is our awful application, but this is working. Okay, 
maybe we can go straight to the to the questions. And after the question, we will see who won. All right. So, okay. I I have a question. All right. How how do you know what message is missing and when the full message is complete? Yeah. The, the point is that uh, there is a sequence. It's a sequential number, and I know that there is gap. So uh, I can send the last message. Well, I forgot to say that we can uh, use also for past events that we that when we were not subscribed, we can use them. So I know which is the last one, but I'm pretty sure that um, that is correct. And the publisher will send me every single event since that moment. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's it's. it's okay. Uh, what's the cost associated with that moment? If it is a cost, uh, well, I'm not sure about that. I so think, no, it has not a, a cost. Uh, one question about this other recent. So, in the channel, you will have twice the same platform events, or is reusing the same one that was already there when he is one? What do you mean with uh, the channel? Like the yeah, the, path. The, yes. The path, uh, well, you create a. Uh, the point is, uh, you have like just one channel or a stream, or you're not picking what, uh, what the stream you want to use to for the application of, of events. Well, you, you're not able to do that so far because, uh, as Hero said, there is a pilot for the high volume events uh, platform, or for events. Uh, in, when this pilot will be released, we'll be able to choose if you want to use the regular. Uh, events on the high level. Any more questions? Any more questions? Okay, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the order of the events, the received events, have you ordered because we were reading about they, they become by batch, they are batchable, the order inside the batch is the order that the publisher sent them? Well, you can you can do the order with the root ID. Root ID is a number and it's going one, two, three, four, five. It's a sequential number. Yeah. So again, if we receive uh, fifty events, we can know which one the yeah. generated. Yeah, that's the way you're knowing you're missing events because when you're getting uh, the everybody number fifteen uh -huh. and then you receive the twenty fourth uh -huh. or something like this, so you know you're missing. But this one is. And the same batch, so you receive 50 events and then 50 more. The number is, I mean, no, you're just receiving events like one by one, one by one, okay, during, during the day because they are stored for 24 hours, right? Yeah, they're so far. I think they're working in an increase this window right? because they're stored so far for 24 hours. Yes. But if I'm waiting for some messages during the week, for example, then the number, maybe the third day, receive number yeah. five. But mm, well, the, with the test I have done, uh, I haven't, I haven't cleared the the repeated list, so it's going. But at the moment, when we will have no two thousand of events, if it will go into zero, to can start this this idea, this idea in any way. Okay, because the the list generated by the publisher, the list generated by yeah, yeah. the publishing the idea is always in the list generated by the by the. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's What about me? I, I, I'm not there. Maybe you are now and then. <laughs> okay, okay. With Anya
Thank you.